Hello everyone, welcome back. Atreus here. Today, let's talk about something we all face at some point: running out of Google Drive space. By default, Google gives you 15 gigabytes of space, and here is the catch: this 15 GB is shared across everything: Google Drive, Gmail, and Google Photos. So, if you are someone who saves lots of pictures, never deletes emails, or receives large attachments, that 15 GB runs out very quickly. When that happens, Google keeps reminding you to buy their paid storage plans. For example, you can buy 100 GB, 2 TB or even more with some advanced AI tools. And honestly, the prices are not super cheap if you keep paying every month. But don't worry, in this video, I will show you a simple method to expand your Google Drive storage space for free. And no, you don't have to keep switching between accounts or anything complicated. Once you set it up, you will be able to manage everything from your one main account. And yes, you can follow these same steps using your Android phone or iPhone. Let's go step by step. Each Google account gives you 15 GB free storage. You have 60 GB. If you create 10 accounts, that's 150 GB. But of course, logging in and out of 10 different accounts just to access your files would be annoying. So the trick here is, we are going to link all those accounts to your primary Google account using the share option. This way, you will have all that extra storage in one place. Start with your primary Google account. This is the account where you want all your storage combined. Copy your email address. Now log in to your second Google account, the extra one you created. Inside Drive, click New, Folder, name it something like Account 1 and the amount of space which is free you are seeing here, 15 GB. This helps you remember how much storage it has. After the folder is created, right click it and choose share. Paste your primary account email in the box. Important: Set the permission to editor so your main account has full control. Then click send. That's it. Now switch back to your primary account, go to shared with me and you will see this new folder there. Just repeat the process. Do the same for all your other accounts. For example, on the second extra account, Create a folder called account2 and the free space available in this account, 14.3 GB. Share it. On the third extra account, create account3, 15 GB and then share it. On the fourth extra account, create account 4, 14.9 GB and then share it as well. And so on. You can repeat this depending on how much storage you want. Now when you come back to your primary account, you will see all these folders neatly listed under the share with me. How it actually works. Now here is the two important things to remember. The first thing is, you would have to grant the ownership of the files or folder to the respective Google account in order to not occupying any space in the primary account. Let me clarify it with the demonstration. If you see here, I have 4 accounts available in my shared with me folder. Here I will select the account 4 folder to upload a file of approximately 1 GB. And it will take little time to upload. Once it will be done. You will see here it has occupied the space of my main primary account instead of Google account of which this account for folder exists. So what we have to do here, we need to transfer the ownership and grant it by accessing with that account in order to transfer this storage. Right click on this file, here just go to share. Now here under the people with access options, you will find two Gmail IDs, one is of the owners and the second one is of editor exist of this another Google account. Here simply you have to select the drop down menu and you have to transfer the ownership of this file. Now once you do this, simply click on done. Now let's go to the Google account and directly open the Gmail to accept the invitation to get the ownership of this item. Simply click on accept. There you done it. Now as we check in that Google account of account 4 folder, we can see here the owner rights has now transferred if we refresh this page. We can clearly see here the storage has been refreshed to now become to 1.47 GB or 15 GB used. 
Now let's move on to the primary account. Here you will see if we refresh this main account, we are now having access to that file without having any utilization of single megabyte in this account. For this task, all you need to do is, you have to accept the ownership transfer invite from the new account where you want to transfer the storage of the item. Now the second thing you have to remember is, you need to upload the file from the newer account if you don't want to transfer the ownership. In that case, you will simply, let's say you upload some files into one of these shared folders, like I will select this account one folder. The storage will be used from that extra Google account because the ownership is only existed of that account, not from your primary 15 GB. So let's say you upload 2 GB of files into account 1 folder. So your main account still shows the full 15 GB free, while you are using additional space from the other accounts, which means it reduces space from that extra account, but your main account storage does not change. This way, you are managing the free storage from multiple accounts, but from one central account. In simple words, you are borrowing the free space from your other Google accounts but managing everything from your main account in one place. You can plan how much space you want. For example, if you want around something 60 GB of free space, you will need to have at least 4 accounts linked to this primary account. If you want something around 120 GB of free space, you will need at least 8 accounts. If you want like around 150 GB of space, you will need at least 10 Google accounts. Yes, creating accounts takes a little time, but remember, you only do this once. After the setup, you don't need to log into those extra accounts again. All the folders are already linked and accessible from your primary account. Think of it like setting up storage boxes. Once the boxes are in your room, you don't need to go back to the store every time. You just use them. And that's it, with this method you can easily expand your Google Drive space without paying for extra storage. It is free, safe and very useful if you regularly deal with large files, videos or photos. So instead of deleting old emails or paying every month, just create a few free extra accounts, share their storage and enjoy. That's all for today's video, I hope you found this trick helpful. If yes, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Atreus and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.